Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 5 of my Revel Lockheed PV-1 Ventura build for Models for Heroes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That would be brill, thank you. In this episode we'll be doing some airbrushing, namely the interior. So I'm going to be using Vallejo's Interior Green 71.010 over the black primer I did. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Okay, there are the vast majority of the interior parts sprayed up interior green. I did three light passes as I prefer to build up the colour and leave some interest to the colour. So I'm not going to show those passes because it's just repeating what you've just seen. But I'm going to move straight on to the mottling. Here I'm using Tamiya Buff XF57. Nice liking. There we go, that's the mottling finished. A quick change of cut. Uh, you, what the? Good God, change your water, man. That's better. Add some thinners, good lad. Now pop it away. Right, after that, let's move swiftly along. What I've done is I've highly thinned my interior green. So about 20% paint, 80% thinners. I'll make several passes of this thin coat until I'm happy. The hardest part of this is knowing when to stop. With a paint this thin, I usually make three passes, then have a look. I'll just show the first pass and then we can now crack on. This is how thin it is, very thin. Yeah. 
This was the fourth and final pass. As you can see, the mottling is very subtle, so I'm pretty happy with this. Anyway, now to move on to some painting. I'm doing the control panel, then the rest of the cockpit with black. So let's crack on with this. Well, we cleaned up that nicely with the interior green as well. Now for the seats. I'm using my own concoction. It's 10 drops of Vallejo Mahogany 71.036 with 2 drops of Insignia White 71.279. Makes a great leather colour as well as doubling up as a dark wood colour. Anyway, let's crack on.
Okay, what we did there was to give the seats an initial layer of this colour. Then I went over the pleats and the leather to darken them up, just to give a bit of contrast on how they look. Now for the belts. I'm using Tamiya Buff XF57 here. They came up well. Now for the buckles. First we'll remove the label off the brush as it's chafing. Then we'll be using Alclad 2's Dark Aluminium. I've only just got this stuff and it is absolutely awesome. You can't see the silver flakes in it, unlike other manufacturers' metal paints. Anyway, let's crack on and get these buckles done. Also did the flight yoke and the rudder pedals just for good measure. Now let's move on to the rear and main undercarriage. I'm using a hairy stick for this just to see how it works out and how it looks as I normally use an airbrush. So let's crack on. There we go, that looks pretty good. I did find out that it dries pretty damn quick, so I had to keep cleaning my brush, but it goes down nicely. Anyway, now for a bit of dry brushing. We're gonna be using Citadel's dry paint Necron Compound, and to apply it, I'm using a very cheap makeup brush. You can get a full set of these for about a fiver off Amazon. They are brilliant for dry brushing. There we go, that's done. So we're going to end today's episode there. Thank you for watching episode 5. If you want to see what happens in episode 6, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.